My name is Muhammad Fakri Hazib Bishamsul. I am student of UITM Sabah Kuta Kinabalu. Today is the day I have been waiting the most well. I will go to one of the places that used to be the focus of people once upon a time. Lake Padu. Yes, that's his name. So, today I will feel by myself the situation there and unravel all the stories that are question mark to me. Why and how interesting place that place like this was left alone. It was 3.30 pm we start our journey. The journey from home to this Padu Lake took about one hour. Lake Padu is the larger main main lake in Kedah, measuring 52 square kilometers and 60 meters deep. It was built in 1963 and fully completed in 1969. The construction of this lake cost about RM 400 million. Tasik Padu was also officiated by the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Haj. One of the uniqueness of this forest area is that it has more than 300 species of flowers. And what is the most interesting, the hills upstream of this lake is the border area with Thailand. So, Starting here, all questions will be answered. In order to feel by ourselves and know everything, we move toward a houseboat which is one of the attraction and the economy that is still going on today. We also want to meet with this street houseboat operator. This Seri Mahawansa houseboat operator is one of the employees and the entrepreneur who have been involved in the business in Tasipadu for the past 20 years. The journey from the jetty to the houseboat took us only 10 minutes. So, it is one of the remaining attractions in this Padulik, which is the houseboat Seri Mahawangsa. This houseboat can accommodate a total of 13 people. Apart from the houseboat, in this area there is also a survival island which can accommodate up to 25 people. And it is located behind the boathouse. To experience the beauty of flora and fauna, we choose to camp on this river island. All facilities such as campsite, toilets, kitchen and chalet are also available. This is the area we are going to spend the night. So, the first activity we did here was BBQ and lake bathing. At night, apart from fishing, other activities that can be done here are karaoke. To avoid the cold, we make a campfire and cook for the dinner. So, it's 7.53 right now. So, what you gonna do bro? Oh, I know. Let's start our day with fishing. Oh, people here call it as mengai. However, all the fun here is not as beautiful as it used to be. Tasipadu used to consist of three hotels of international standard, namely Desa Utara Padu Lake Resort, Mutiara Padu Lake Golf, and Holiday Inn Resort. In addition, the existence of an international standard golf course in the area of Padu Lake is also a major focus by foreign tourists. However, Everything is just history. Are you all my personal dreams?
We managed to get the manager of the houseboat who is an individual who has been involved. Another factor is also due to the false issue that has spread causing outsiders to no longer be interested in coming here and weaknesses in terms of development aspect they have not been studied in advance. So, in the conclusion, what can I say is, places that have the potential to provide the income to the country should be taken care of and many as well as possible. Other than that, false issues should not be disseminated if they do not get the legitimacy. This is because all the action we do will affect the other party. Lastly, I hope we can work together to boost the tourism industry in this country because if not us, who else would do that? So, that's all for me. Thank you.